Hello friends and welcome back to Generation Pixel Land. If you're new to the channel, well you have picked a great day to pop along because I'm about to reveal my top 10 PlayStation 3 games. Now the PlayStation 3, the good old PS3, it was a console a way ahead of its time and that was one of the reasons that it almost lost out in the 7th generation console wars. Don't get me wrong, it got its nose in front just at the very end too pick the 360 to the post, but it took its time, and for that reason, well a lot of these games or a lot of these top 10s of the PlayStation 3, they're quite similar, but you never know, maybe I've got a game or two in here that will take you by surprise, and if you want to find out, you just wait until after these titles. Okay, so coming in at number 10, well it's a game that took me by surprise at the time and it was a game later on in the PlayStation 3's life cycle, like many of the games on this list probably will be and like, will probably be in most people's list, but the game for me at number 10 is Destiny, and more specifically, the Taken King expansion, because this game, well it blew me out the water, I'd never been able to play first person shooters in, well decades, they give me motion sickness, but for some reason, stuck on Destiny and managed to play it and, well, I put about 600 hours into it, let's just say that. Now I don't know whether it's the frame rate or the picture quality, but something about Destiny, well it was some sort of witchcraft as far as I was concerned, but it was great to be able to play an online first person shooter for the first time in a very long time. So my number 10 game on the PlayStation 3 is Destiny, the Taken King expansion. Coming in at number 9 is another game that took me by surprise, and it shouldn't have taken me by surprise because quite simply, this series I should have discovered on the PlayStation 2. I didn't however, I had to wait until the PlayStation 3, so at number 9 we have Deus Ex Human Revolution, and this game really did take me by surprise. It was lovely to get an action RPG where, well, the focus of it was to build your own character, cyberpunk style, and let me tell you, way much more fun than a certain recent cyberpunk game that's come out. So I'm sure we can all agree that Deus Ex Human Revolution is the only cyberpunk game you should be playing. Coming in at number 8 is the game, or not so much the game, but part of the series of games that forced my arm into buying a PlayStation 3 back just after launch, and that game, coming in at number 8, is Assassin's Creed 2. Now the Assassin's Creed franchise is fantastic, I have loved it since the first one and I continue to love it now, especially because they've become much more open world and much more RPG, but take me back to Assassin's Creed 2 and the wonderful Ezio Adatori de Firenze, well, I'm happy any day of the week with this chap, and that's why he's definitely in at my number 8 spot. Coming in at number 7 is my first RPG on the list. Now, I do know that Human Revolution Deus Ex is an RPG-esque game, but not quite the style that we're all used to, or I'm used to playing anyway. So the first more traditional RPG, well, number 7 gets Dragon Age Origins, and this game was absolutely fantastic. Not only that, it was one of the first games that I actually actively hunted down and bought the DLC for. The characters are fantastic, the combat is on point, and the DLC was not just reasonably priced, it was packed full of content well worth the purchase. So coming at number 7, Dragon Age Origins. Coming in at number 6 on my list is an old franchise that got a reboot, and that game for number 6 is Tomb Raider, more specifically the Tomb Raider reboot that was released in 2013. Now this game absolutely knocked my socks off. Everyone that I knew, and probably a lot of you guys out there, all have a lot in time and love for Lara Croft and the Tomb Raider series. When they reimagined it with this game, well it was something else. Yes, it was going down more like the lines of the Uncharted, but maybe with just a little bit extra violence, and it was a little bit of extra violence that the game probably just needed. So number 6, without a doubt, Tomb Raider the 2013 reboot. Coming in at number 5 is another game that's part of a larger series, all on the PlayStation 3, and of course, it did move on to the PlayStation 4 as well, and that is Uncharted 2. Now Uncharted 2 for me is the best game and the quadrilogy plus extra bonus game that we got in the Lost Legacy. Yes of course graphically Uncharted 4 is better, but you know what, this game had it all, the heart, the story, the character, yep, Uncharted 2. 
without a doubt, number 5 on the PlayStation 3. Coming in at number 4 in my top PlayStation 3 games, well, it's another game that spawned another sequel. No, it didn't. It spawned a prequel. Because the game that I picked for number 4 is Red Dead Redemption. Now, Red Dead Redemption is a wonderful game. It's so much more than the Grand Theft Auto and horses that a lot of people described it at the time. For me, the true heart of this game is in its story, and not just the story as a whole, but of course, the story of the main protagonist, and that's John Marsden. What a wonderful story, told beautifully, and you know what? Spoiler coming, a tearjerker at the end. So, without a doubt, number four, Red Dead Redemption on the PlayStation 3. So we're getting down to the serious stuff, now we're on to the top 3 and coming up for number 3 is a game with 3 in the title. It's a game that I've pumped hundreds of hours into, it's also part of a series that goes back way further than PlayStation and that game is Fallout 3. Now Fallout 3 to me is probably the best one in the series. It's got the best character, it's got the best storyline and for me it's also got the best side quest and the best side quest without a doubt is Mothership Zeta. The one where you get to beam yourself aboard an alien spacecraft way up in the orbit of Earth. You can blast Earth with a big laser beam but more importantly you can pick up lots of ray guns for yourself. So when you come back down to the wasteland, well you can blast Fury out of any mutant that passes your way. So number 3, one of the games that I pumped more time into than I should confess, Fallout 3. Coming in at number 2 in my top 10 of the PlayStation 3 games is a game that, well, it also took me by surprise. It shouldn't have done. It's completely in my wheelhouse. It's a JRPG and it's none other than Nino Kuni The Wrath of the White Witch. Now, Nino Kuni The Wrath of the White Witch was something that took me by surprise. I had no idea what it was when it first came out. It took me a little while to pick this game up and I didn't pick it up until 2014, 2015, but let me tell you, when you play this game, it absolutely takes your breath away. And the best way that I can think about describing it is, you know, if Pokemon and Final Fantasy had a baby and they let Studio Ghibli dress it, that is that game wrapped up nicely in one package. Because it looks gorgeous, it plays wonderfully, the story's fantastic and heartwarming and touching and of course heartbreaking at times as well. And it's a must play for anyone who likes either JRPGs or a, a bit of Studio Ghibli or just if you like playing video games, get this one played. It's not turn based or it's not proper turn based combat, it's got some lovely action RPG combat in it so there's a bit in there for everyone and as I said the story is fantastic so anyone who hasn't played this game then get yourself out there and get yourself some Nino Kuni The Wrath of the White Witch. So here we are, we're down to the last one, the number one game in my top 10 of the PlayStation 3 and this is a game that will surprise no one because I'll be frankly honest, this game should be the number one in every top 10 of the PlayStation 3 and quite frankly the PlayStation 3 was built to play this game and that game is The Last of Us. Now The Last of Us as I said was it was the first and probably only game that was fully built to play on the PlayStation 3. Every ounce of power that that wonderful console had, a console that I've said was way ahead of its time, this game was designed to play that console and we saw the best of the PlayStation 3 come out in The Last of Us. Now of course the game is also fantastic, the gameplay is great, the story is fantastic and epic and it looks absolutely wonderful running on a PlayStation 3 and I'd quite happily play it on the PlayStation 3 over the PlayStation 4 without batting an eyelid. So there you have it, my number one, The Last of Us on the PlayStation 3. So there you go my friends, my top 10 PlayStation 3 games and well if you want to talk about any of these games, drop it down into the comments because that's what the comments are there for. I will get back to you and I do love having a heated debate now and again about some of the games that I've maybe picked that you wouldn't have on your top 10 list. And of course, if you want to drop your top 10 list down in my comments, feel free to do that. Or if you have your own channel, well, make your own top 10 video because I love watching these as much as I love making them. Now if you've enjoyed this video throw me a thumbs up because well it does the channel a world of good but also makes me feel warm and fuzzy inside so don't forget to hit that thumbs up and if you want to see more videos from Generation Pixel well 
That subscription button, it's always there, it's always free and you can always change your mind if you don't like the content I'm putting out. Thank you again for watching and until next time as always, cheerio!